Prophet one day, as in a hadith that's narrated by Sahir in Bukhari, saw a man that was walking by that was of high status. And the Prophet actually asked the companions, he said, what do you say about this person? And they said, this is a person that if he speaks, people listen to him. And if he intercedes on anyone's behalf, his intercession will be accepted. And if he was to propose to anyone for marriage, his marriage would also be accepted. His proposal would also be accepted. And then the Prophet ﷺ saw another man walking by, but this was a person that was of low status and that was from the poor Muslims. And Rasulullah ﷺ said, and what do you all say about this one? And they said, this is a person that if he speaks, no one's going to listen to him. And if he was to intercede on anyone's behalf, no one is going to accept his intercession. And if he was to propose to anyone for marriage, then his proposal will be rejected. And the Prophet ﷺ wanted to make a point. Rasulullah ﷺ said, but this person, is better than mil al ard, better than an entire you know earth full of this person. This person that you guys describe as being a reject, as being a loser, as being one of low status, is better than mil al ard mithl hada. You know, an entire world full of that person. And so the Prophet ﷺ, what he was doing والسلام, was he was redefining our idea of beauty. And the Prophet ﷺ did this on numerous occasions. So we see for example Ibn Mas'ud anhu, and he is Abdullah. He is the man who is the greatest of the Abadi, la Abdullah. And this man anhu, was so short that he was a dwarf. And the Prophet ﷺ one day, when Ibn Mas'ud was going up into the tree to grab him, a siwak from the Arak tree, the wind actually blew him into that tree. And the Sahaba laughed because his legs were exposed. So Rasulullah said, why are you laughing? They said, Ya Rasulullah, his legs are skinny. They're like two small twigs. And Rasulullah says, but you don't understand. You know, these two legs on the Day of Judgment will be the weight of Uhud, the size and weight of Uhud. Can you think about that? On the Mizan, on the scale of good deeds, on the scale of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that counts most, these two legs will be the size and the weight of Uhud. Mm -hmm.